up. Been uh, been editing clips of the podcast all morning, all morning long. We got Chris Doe's episode being chopped up right now. What is going on? It's Saturday. We're gearing up for another run. However, this run, according to the plan, says it has to be 12 miles. I don't know about all that. Like I said, I missed those. There's two weeks where it was just raining every time that I was available to run. So I missed two weeks. So 12 seems far. Seems a little far. I think I'm I'm gonna shoot for six at least. And anything above that is extra credit. I think the most poppy has ran is a little over seven. Also wanna keep that in mind. I don't know how far she should run particularly or what the recommended mileage is for her. I do for her at least change the pace sometimes if I'm doing more frequent runs throughout the week that way it's not she's not overworked because I never really considered it but I imagine dogs muscles also get sore so I guess that also means Poppy took two weeks off from her running schedule as well we'll get to it shooting for, shooting for six we're rocking the chocolate peanut butter caramel protein bar beforehand loading up it's cloudy out cloudy cloudy but we're about to start it. Your mother, when I, when she, and then when she sees the, the jokes write themselves, ladies and gentlemen. It's like somebody ran into a fire hydrant, and then they tried to run, and then they were arrested. Justice system at work. We are 2.76 miles in deep. The biggest regret so far is not wearing sunglasses. That's the truth of it. A lot of people definitely receiving a secondhand high running by in Venice. Is it medicinal? We'll never know. One of the reasons I'm training right now is because you gotta be willing to do what other people want. That includes training and resting. And, uh, in a capacity of like when other people are burning themselves out, you gotta be resting to play the long game. And when other people aren't working, you gotta be working. So that's what I'm training for to be prepared for the opportunity for any sort of lead role that comes up. Yeah, the, the physical, personal, emotional side is, I think that we all run at a, a baseline emotion, like a foundational emotion that kind of dictates a lot of how we live, whether that's from how we were raised or birth order of sorts, I've grown to find that my baseline foundational emotion is frustration, mainly with frustration with myself for like taking responsibility for, you know, things not going, having too high of expectations, yada, yada, yada. And even though this is probably one of the happiest stages of my life moving to LA, there's still these intense spurts of frustration because it's like these goals are set. How, how quickly will they move forward? So training helps give a reset to that for me. And without it, you know, all those other outlets that are formerly creative outlets are being used in a work capacity. So the training is taking over as the outlet for the release of the either frustration or like I said, a noggin uh, reset button. All right, let's get back to the run. I got sunscreen in my eyeball. They don't tell you about this in college, uh, how to deal with sunscreen in the eyeball. We did five and a half miles. Average pace, nine minutes. Poppy did great. She started tugging on the leash around mile three or so, saying, hey, let's wrap this up. And I said, I agree. Let's, let's, let's get the darn heck out of here. And so we did. I always run down to the boardwalk because I like being, being I like being near the beach, but there's so many people. I almost feel like an ideal, ideal running scenario, forestry, by yourself, unleashed dog. It's a good vision. Poppy, come, come say what's up. Come say what's up to the people. You did such a good job. Still have to hit legs right now. 
legs, I think it's legs and forearms. So we're gonna do that, then we're gonna get back to work. After that, I gotta memorize my lines. I got a monologue. I got a monologue I'm prepping, so that's cool. But I have to memorize the lines because I only know the first third. I know, I know, can't believe it. All right, see you after the legs. I forgot to mention those, that's those stairs, those ramp stairs, there's a handful of them uh, along, along the Palisades right there. A handful of them and they are brutal to run up running up them is not as enjoyable as running down them i'll tell you that right now shatters the pace just obliterates it also i feel like i need to do the santa monica stairs soon that's like it's world renowned right that's like a, that's a big it's a big thing you got to run up and down a bunch of times i did it when i was a young lad in my teens but i haven't done it since so let's add that to the to the list Orange chicken and rice. Doing it for the kids. What is going on? We are walking to church. It's Sunday. I always always forget to wear sunglasses to this church. Because the building is so white and bright. You know? As Jay from Modern Family says, it's tough when you gotta flash the baby blues. We're churching. We have one run to do today. It's supposed to be four miles. It's easy peasy. And that's it. Resting from here on out. I hope you've enjoyed this week of documentation as long and as dry as this video has been i do think there's value in documenting you know the journey of those those three things the acting podcasting and business i i think it'll be fun to see how things go over the course of this year and what happens in place because there's very specific things that need to happen in order for success to occur in those three areas not to mention growing as a person and developing physically, spiritually, personally, emotionally. Loading up on sweet potato fries, baby. Burn to perfection, might I add. Yo, about to hit the last run of the week. Four miles, as previously mentioned. We're gonna make sure they're leisurely. A leisurely four miles, and then after that, we can talk a little bit about habits, and we'll uh, get it popping. It's very windy, very cloudy. Really, two miles in, we are Ending the week, where we started the week with a nice four miler, and with a nice four miler. Poppy's unfazed by these two miles. The table dog, no manners, get out the table, come on. Learn some, learn some respect, you know. <sighs> that was not a leisurely run. It wasn't whoever said I was gonna do that, I lied. I'm pretty sure it was me. I lied. It was brutal. I'll peep the stats. That was brutal. I gotta say that was brutal. What I was talking about with the habits and stuff, for this week, this is probably the last thing I was saying that I'll let you be. This past week, I felt like I was on social media a little bit more than I would have liked to have been. Mainly, this is my excuse. This is my justification in my head. I'm trying to plan this content, so I hop on the app, and then I start scrolling, and I scroll a bit, and I'm like, oh yeah, what am I here for? And then I do the thing. But it happened too many times where I was like, this is becoming a time suck. And it's also happening late in the evening because I'm a, I'm a little, I'm a little night owl. <laughs> and what I would like to do instead is replace that habit. I'm gonna delete the apps for the week. Replace the habit with reading books before bed, at least a little bit of a book. That way I can. Uh, not have that blue light hitting my eyeballs, hitting my baby blues before I go to bed. That's it, that's the only thing I wanna tell you. We can talk about habit tracking stuff next week, bye.